any of these comparison problems, we're always going to have to compute the absolute difference or absolute change. And that's going to be the, I'll also use the absolute value of big minus small. If I could spell. Uh, if you make sure the big ones first, big minus small will always be positive, but just in case I put absolute value there. So the big one, 37, or whoa, 370,000 minus 230,000. So we do this subtraction. Let's see, that's a large number. 37, four zeros. Subtract four. All right, there we go. Uh, this is positive. All right, that's the absolute change. Now, none of these said what's the absolute difference. So we're not gonna directly use this number. However, we wanna do some comparisons. So we're gonna do part A first. So part A compares to Portland. So our starting, starting is Portland. So Seattle sales were what percent larger? So part A, uh, we're gonna compare the absolute change divided by the original. So in this case, the original or the starting value is Portland's. So the change is the number we just computed and the original Portland was 230,000. All right, so that's part A right there. Now you do need to uh, turn this into a percentage. So you need to divide and then move the decimal place over twice. Uh, let's go, we'll do the calculator for that. So 140,000 divided by 230,000 equals. So you're looking at the decimal to get to a percent. You can either just move the decimal place over twice. You can also accomplish that by multiplying by 100. And there we go, 60.869. Now there may be some rounding involved. Accurate to at least one decimal place, that's fine. You can use more decimal places and three decimal places is at least one. So we're fine there. All right, that's part A. Part B, how is part B different? It's similar, we're comparing Portland to Seattle. Um, so in this case, this is the starting over here. So the original. So we have absolute change divided by the original. So our absolute change is the same number. And the denominator is gonna be the Seattle's numbers, which is right at the top. Now I'm not gonna type this in the calculator, but you can definitely do that. And you, that'll give you your percentage right there. Okay, part C seems the same, but it's a bit different. This doesn't say uh, larger or smaller than, they want a direct comparison. So it's not comparing the change, it's comparing the two values. So we are gonna do Seattle divided by Portland or Portland divided by Seattle. How do we know which one? Now it says of Seattle's. So the original is Seattle's. And the new one, the one we want to compare to the original is Portland. And so Portland was 230, 37. All right, you can definitely type this into a calculator. Now here you want to make sure you keep all your work separate. Um, I'm gonna do some fancy, you can cancel out all the zeros here, 23 over 37, um, and then you can type this into a calculator, save a little time. All right, and of course turn it back to a percent. Now, just looking at this, it's something close to two thirds, it's not exactly two thirds, 
that's close. Does that make sense? And then we've got 66% approximately. That's not the exact answer, just my quick estimate. Does that make sense if it's approximately 66%? Oh, there, put the percent sign in there. All right, let's look at just the numbers. Yeah, it looks like Portland's smaller. How much smaller? Something like 66%. So that seems very reasonable here. So sometimes it's good to make sure your answers are reasonable before you just turn them in.